Okay, uh, I want to do a brief demonstration here on the tools that you can use in Excel uh, to do flow charting. And the easiest way to do this is we go up to the top here, we click Insert, and you're given a lot of options picture, clip art, shapes, smart art. We're going to use the shapes. And under shapes here, we have lots of different types of shapes that we can use. Uh, in particular, what we're going to look at here are the flowchart uh, items. So if we want to do a square, and you have a table in your book there which tells you what all these different uh, shapes mean. But So we just click on Insert, we go to Shapes, we click there, and we'll just do a little draw down here. Now it defaults to the background color blue there. You can change that to whatever background you like. And there I have my square. Okay, so now I want to let's say I want to put some text in this box. I right click on the box and I go down to edit text and then I just type in what I need. So we can go operating departments and there we have it. Okay, we can also do again, there's lots of different types of shapes we can use here in our flow chart we can use one of the uh, one of the shapes that we use is a circle so we can draw a circle and again I'm going to change the background so it's clear I'm going to right click on it add a text and I'm going to put uh, this is where we're processing so I'm going to put process uh, flowchart spreadsheet or whatever it is you want to put there okay I can also use again there we have tons of in the flow charts all the different symbols we need we have the documents symbol here that we can use we can size this however we want to make it fit uh, another option you have oops, Okay, so then this would be, of course, my document here, so I can represent our document. Uh, other things we can do, if you notice, it comes up that format tool. We can do some effects. So if I want to, you know, put a sh outer shadow into the document, I can do that, and then do a lot. But you can different types of things you can you can play with there and. Um, you know, change the color of the outline. So if I want that highlighted in red, I can do that. Um, so anyway, there's lots of different things you can experiment with, however you like. Uh, we can do our connectors also by, you know, we can do, when we're on the format tool up here, we have the boxes that have all the shapes and stuff. We can also use the insert key and it will go to that also. So let's say after from the operating, I want to put in, you know, if I'm going to send some here, that's the document, so I can go to that. I can change the color here again from darker, or I can, um, different colors, I can make it a thick line if you'd like. I want that to stand out a little more, we can do that. Uh, we can also do. Um, like for example our processing so we can do a curve line and so I can take my curve line let's say I'm gonna put it from right here like there and then I'm just going to put that over to here and yeah change to that showing that process and then you know we can do all kinds of arrows however we need it to be but that is how we use Microsoft Excel uh, to do flow charting and also you may use uh, Word and Word works very similar to this too.